Alright, hey y'all. Um, <clears throat> as you guys know, I have finished my Christmas diamond paintings. I am actually completely, completely done with all Christmas diamond paintings. It's okay, sissy. Um, sorry y'all. I'm actually kind of a mess today. I really don't, um, care. <laughs> Um, I have gotten back to my actual diamond paintings, mine from before all Christmas. Um, got started. <clears throat> um, I'm going to give you guys a couple of updates that's going on. We have not heard anything about my daughter's, um, gate trainer, walker, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's getting a little frustrating, but it's okay. Uh, she's doing really, really well in her stander and her activity chair, so that's a plus. Um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we will see her wanting to stand up on her own without the, the stander and everything. She is showing some progress that she wants to, so that's an, um, absolute obvious positive. Yes, um, do you guys know we are still planning the Elvis Sock Hop 50s party? Woohoo! <laughs> um... Um, I'm ready for it because I absolutely love the 50s. Um, I just want to make sure that I actually can pull this off and make a great party. Um, she deserves it. Very, very much so deserves it. So, yes. Anyway, on to, um, I had a bunch that, um, were obviously mine without, um, them having to be done for a specific reason or a specific time. Uh, as many of you know, um, my first custom I gave to somebody that had lost their child, um, and I've had to been, I've had to deal with the fact that they just threw it in the corner and acted like they didn't care. So now I'm really concerned about Christmas, if that's what's going to happen at Christmas time, because all of my Christmas time paintings are customs. Um, I know one of them will not, but there's three that I I just don't know. Um, it hurt me a lot more than I thought it was going to, because I mean, I made it for them, and it's their custom painting, but I worked so hard on it. And it was my first custom, it was my first big, big square and basically the person just told me a really bad word to F off, I guess. So that's, that is what it is. It hurts, but you know, it is what it is. And unfortunately, I have to um, move on and just pray that everyone's going to love their Christmas. Um, anyway, um, a lot of you know that I've been in with, I've had a lot of squares, a lot, a lot of squares. Like, ever since I bought my first square, that's all I've apparently have bought since is squares. Um, uh, my last round that I bought was my, um, panel tiger. And I figured I was going to do one of the ones that I want there next to my my velvet painting, but I figure since that's a square and I've done nothing but squares, especially for Christmas and everything, maybe try doing a round and getting um, that off of my mind. I do miss doing rounds and I am speeding through this. I'm actually almost done with this first panel. Um, I will show you guys that here in a second. Um, but I am... Sorry, y'all. I just saw one that's not there. And I'm pretty sure it was never actually there. Anyway, um, I don't know if I have talked to you guys before or after. There was a Halloween situation. Um, there was a party or whatever. And you could dress up or not. Well, we dressed up in our little Dorothy outfit and stuff. And it was extremely cute, guys. Like, I... I was very much in love with it. Um, it really wasn't for little kids, though. Like, the where we went, it was supposed to be a party. And it was supposed to have activities for little kids, big kids, adults. And the one activity that the little kids could do, there were big kids and adults that were taking advantage of it. So, 
it it was coming up for some unknown reason. Um, as a lot of you know, my last video I showed you guys I got a roller. I still am in love with it. Like I said, I got it. Um, it was in the fondant section of um, Hobby Lobby, and I spent. It was like four ninety nine, but I got it on a sale, and so I think I really spent like three, three fifteen on it or something crazy. Yes, I absolutely love it. Um, I think it gives me more of a standing on making sure that the diamonds are sticking down completely, and I'm not having to place books on them for, you know, two or three days and, um, or any kind of pressure or anything like that. So I actually do find it very very helpful. Um, I have seen it on Amazon where they actually call it a diamond, uh, diamond painting roller, but those ones are like six, seven dollars. So, um, if y'all are looking for it or want to even attempt it, I give it a thumbs up. I love it. Um, but anyway, like I said, I will get to showing you this. Alright, as you guys know, the picture is this. I showed this to you guys a long time ago before we even moved. That's how long I've had this. And literally, I am done with it up to here. Sorry, guys. Let me move my pen. Right here. And I've just started here. So, we are getting somewhere. Like, I got all that over there so you can't see. But this first panel is almost done. Um, I know it sounds crazy to say, but I think... I miss, miss, miss doing um, rounds or circles or whatever you guys want to call them. Um, I do, I'm like torn because I like, um, I like squares because I like the, the picture that it gives you because squares will give you like amazing details and you don't even realize that they're there. Until you're fully done with it and you step back from it. So I love squares, but rounds I also like. Like I don't have a preference really. Um, I'm kind of upset with myself for buying nothing but squares recently. Like I've kind of hurt myself a little bit here. I'm trying to do a few of them while I'm talking so that y'all don't think I'm crazy. Um... I have, I haven't been working on my cross stitch, and I know I need to. Um, right now, basically, we're just working on um, our stuff. Christmas stuff is done with, so um, basically, it's just what I have already. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Um, I hope y'all can. Um. I haven't really decided on getting any more because I don't, like I said in future or future past videos, I don't know if y'all have actually have watched it all the way through. And if you have, I do appreciate you guys and I do love y'all. Um, I know we have different situations going on here because we're not just crafting. We're also a family of uh, an ongoing um battle with HSV2 encephalitis and whatnot so um I try to keep you guys in the loop with that because that's half the reason why I'm home because she's disabled and she needs assistance and help and so that's all uh, that you know gives me the opportunity to be home with her and I absolutely love the opportunity to be home with her and be home with my son and everything. Um, I don't think I've talked about him in a while. He's doing amazing, y'all. He actually turned 14 months old today. Like, my little my little fat man. Um, he's something else. I'll tell you that. He learned how to make the kissing sound like two days ago because we've been teaching him to blow kisses. Like, you know, where you're... You put your hand to your mouth and you say blow kisses or whatever. We've been teaching him that. But, um, he learned the other day, he learned the other day to actually make the sound. And it's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life, y'all. 
Like, I can't even believe it. He'll put his hand to his mouth now and do at you. And it is so stinking cute. I have never in my life thought that I could even teach a human being to do this. And I'm the human being to two, or human being, I'm the mother to two tiny little human beings that are incredible and amazing. And oh my god, I'm, I'm so in love with them. But anyway, he's doing great. She's doing um, amazing. Right now, we think she's actually getting longer because her face. Let me switch her around. Um, her face is thinning out a little bit. She's kind of thinning out, and usually when she thins out like that, she's always getting longer, which is half of our problem of our weight issue is that when she gains just a little bit of weight, it always, and I mean always, it always just kind of dwindles back down because she's gotten longer. So every time we get any kind of weight on her, then we got to deal with that she just got longer again. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all, um... I just wanted to show you that I have started on one of my dime paintings that's mine. This is no time limit on it, so I'm not even really rushing to do it. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that I've gotten as much done on it as I have because I'm not trying to rush on it. I'm not trying to, you know, get it done for a certain deadline or whatever. I'm just doing it, which I forgot how easy rounds really were. You just kind of keep doing it, and it's it just gets done. Um, with there only being 12 colors, it might explain the situation a little bit. Because there's only 12 colors. Um, I don't know if you all saw that or not when I showed you guys. But there's 12 colors. Um, and most of them are green. And most of them are greens. So that means basically I only have like three grays and two dark and two whites. And the rest of them are greens for the eyes. So that means that I won't be using them until I get to the eyes, which are kind of hiding behind a bunch of stuff right now. So, yes. Um, but anyway, I hope y'all have a lovely day. And like, subscribe, have any comments, questions, concerns. Uh, Want to see anything, like any of my latch hooks that I haven't finished completely yet, that I haven't shown you guys in a while. Um, just let me know. I will definitely show you guys that on the next video. Um... Any projects that you guys want to know that I have coming up that I can show you any of the dime paintings that I know that I have coming up that I can show you any of the dime paintings that I'm I may even have like a, a video of which one you guys think I should do next after I'm done with this one because yes. I really don't know there's so many that I have to do for my thing that I haven't done because I've been doing with Christmas um, with that being said, I'm not fighting to get these finished and done in any kind of order. I just want them to be up hanging in my house. So, with all that being said, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all.